All right, so we typically tell you guys if bottles are worth getting or hunting for or spending the time in line for. This list is going to be all about the bourbons, not worth wasting your time over. No FOMO. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to talk about bourbons not worth hunting for or rise or whatever else you want to say. Nor corn whiskeys. Uh, we, we always try to do a good job every year where we tell you guys like, these are the bourbons we believe in that are good, worth yep. hunting for, yep. worth, cause you know, during allocation season, you know, camping's going on, special trips are being made. Yep. Um, and you know, the other big thing is too, like during allocation season, your stores, your favorite stores that you go to and hopefully you're loyal to and yeah. you spend the time and the money in. You know, this is whenever, I don't want to say get kicked back for all that loyalty. This is whenever that loyalty will pay off. Yeah. So, you don't want to waste it. We all live busy lives these days and can't really afford to wake up and take a day stuck on the couch because of a few drinks that we had the night before. And so, Z-Biotics is the answer we've all been looking for. Uh, Z-Biotics pre alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. PhD scientists invented it to tackle the rough mornings after drinking. This is how it works. When you drink alcohol, it gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's that byproduct, not dehydration, that makes you feel, you know, kind of bad the next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme uh, to break down that byproduct. Just remember to drink Z-Biotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's uh, sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Yeah, so we all have those times where uh, we've been at parties, we've been doing that stuff. Um, and for Zach and I, we have uh, really taken advantage of this Z-Biotics. Uh, we, we take it every time before we have uh, we know that we're going to be out uh, somewhere uh, having drinks or going out to dinner, and we know we're going to have a few drinks. We we just take it ahead of time and uh, take it with some water, and then we just kind of feel refreshed the next day. No, no real side effects, no anything, and we just wake up the next day just really refreshed. So go to zbiotics.com forward slash bourbon kingdom or scan the QR code on the screen right now somewhere in here uh, to get 15% off uh, your order when you use bourbon kingdom at checkout. You can also uh, sign up for a subscription using my code so that you don't you can stay prepared no matter what the occasion. Uh, Zbiotics is backed by a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So remember, uh, to head to zbiotics.com forward slash bourbon kingdoms and use the promo code bourbon kingdom at checkout to get 15% off. And thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this video. These eight bottles that we're getting ready to talk about, I, I won't lie, I would feel like they would be a waste at this point. Yes. So I would agree with that. Do you want to start? Yeah. Oh, before we start, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notifications button and let us know in the comments below. Out of these eight, if we got something right or wrong, and if we should have added something else to the to the list. Yeah, I could see that. All right, so first on the list, we started off with a doozy and probably a very controversial one um, because I've seen uh, the I've seen the secondary on it. I've seen like people flipping out over it, uh, and it is the Penelope Rio. I wouldn't wish it on my worst of enemies. It is, to me, what bourbon shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're and so Penelope, mean. And Penelope makes some really good stuff, right? They Penelope make a lot does. of really good they stuff. They make a lot of really good stuff. This, to me, was a major, major miss. And if you're, if you got that FOMO, like you hear everybody talking about, oh, the Rio, the Rio, the Rio, this is what I heard about. Then I tried it because we reviewed it. And I went, I am so glad I did not go search for that. Are, are you done with your, are, are you off your soapbox? I think so. 
All right, so I didn't hate the Rio when we tried it the first time. It was my favorite out of the group, but I didn't hate it. But the more I kind of keep going back to it and trying it, it's definitely not my favorite. Yeah. So it would probably be a pass because it is also in that secondary price range uh, where it's a stag. So I would rather have a stag, stag junior. 100%. Than that at the end of the day. Yeah. I just don't think it's as bad as what he thinks. Um, number two on the list is going to be the Remus six-year highest of ride. Now, I was actually super excited about this because I thought, hey, we're getting a younger version of a yeah. Four Roses. That's what. In my mind, I had that. Maybe I shouldn't have, but that's what I had in my mind. Because uh, it definitely didn't taste like that. It was, we found it up in Michigan when we went up to Michigan for the Portland Park. Yep. And love where I bought it from. But it just, it misses the mark. The only good thing about it is it's like 50 something bucks. Yeah. The only other good thing about it is makes a heck of an old fashioned. <laughs> what it lacks as just a standalone uh, rye, it makes up for and being really good as a uh, old fashioned. That's all I'm going to say. So it's definitely not worth hunting for, uh, but tastes good as an <laughs> old fashioned. <laughs> Uh, number three on the list is, uh, again, this, I, I feel like I'm putting all these things out here that are just, uh, people are going to smack me around for. Uh, this one's going to be the one we probably get the most hate on. Uh, number three is uh, Old Forester's Birthday Bourbon. It is the most hit or miss of all allocated bourbons to me. Is it really that? I think so. Well, let me say this. We have tried this year's. We have tried this year's. I want to get. I don't want. I don't want to say anything. And it's from all like, it's one of the biggest. Not just this year, all of them. The biggest hit or miss <laughs> that you can have. And to me, if you're gonna hunt something that is questionable whether it's good or not, I, I feel like you better do your research. And these are hard. They're hard to come by. They're not sitting on every bar they're not sitting everywhere where you could try to know that you wanted to go after it because you happen to like this year's or not this year's to me you just kind of let it go and I, there's so many other things that i would rather search for than the birthday bourbon so for me um certain years of birthday bourbons are awesome uh just some that come to mind uh big fans 16 18 19 21. Um, I feel like he's just trying to soften the blow of what I just said. Well, it, <laughs> I don't think they're, again, as bad as you think. I think some of them are good. I've had good ones. But then we start having this weird conversation. I was having this, I was, and I was having this conversation with my buddy Josh the other day because he, he, he agrees with you. He thinks birthdays, well, Ray, right. he, he does agree that some of them are good, but he thinks they're overrated. And his argument is, would I rather have a birthday bourbon or would I rather have a GTS? GTS? Because that's basically what you can, I don't want to say trade, but, yeah. you know, get within the ballpark of. Or even just in its own little uh, uh, family. President's Choice? Well, yeah, but that's, or... okay, fair. But President's Choice is a lot harder to get, though, nationwide. Yeah. So. True. And I can... With that, with all that being said, it is hard to talk, to make the argument of not taking the GTS over the birthday bourbon. Yeah. So, and with that said, if you get it this year's birthday bourbon, make sure you try it before you open it. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, next one on the list, <laughs> and this one again kind of pains me to say this: Michter's Ten Year Rye. Now. When it comes to this bottle here, I don't necessarily dislike it or hate it. I don't, I don't think it's bad at all. I do think it's a little pricey for what it is, and I think whenever it comes time for allocation season, hunting season, and when it comes time for that time to get something at the store, this is gonna be one of those bottles that's gonna be an option. And I think in that price range and in that kind of spot there, that is a pass for most other things that would be in there. I mean, heck, just it's, just the 10 year bourbon alone is gonna be, you're gonna take that all day long over that rye. So again, it's not that it's that bad, but to me it's a pass. Yeah, nothing, nothing else to say about it, that's true. <laughs> uh, number five, uh, Rabbit Hole. 
anything they put out. I mean, it's as simple as that. Like, <laughs> it's pricey, and that's true. Uh, they think highly of their stuff, which is fine. I, if I if I produce my own bourbon, I probably would think highly of it too, even if it wasn't good. Um, because somebody's got to sell it. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to sell it. Somebody's so, got to sell it. Uh, there are some that I've had that are that are decent, um, but not worth hunting for. They 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 do some cool stuff with their bottles. They do some they cool do. stuff uh, in that sense, but the bottle doesn't make the bourbon. And in this sense, mm -hmm. you're you're paying for a good bottle and not necessarily good bourbon inside the bottle. So yeah, I true. would say just kind of pass on it. Yeah, I pretty much agree with them a thousand percent. I like the distillery. I think the distillery is yeah. cool, but yeah. Outside of their very first, I think it was something Grail. It's not Holy Grail, yeah. but whatever it was, it was a rye. It was MGP rye. Outside I feel, of that, I, I feel I like there's, I feel like there's hope for them to like make some good, like some good stuff. But mm -hmm. we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, number six, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this year's all three releases of the Hardens Creek, and that is the Claremont, the Boston, and the Frankfurt. Um, I'm somebody who had really, really high hopes, high expectations for it. I was sitting there, you know, I talked earlier in the year, my thoughts of ultra age Jim Beam, yeah. higher proof Jim Beam, yep. all this stuff. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's $175. I think there's going to be a lot of places that get it outside of the Boston badge. I think Boston badge is going to be a little hard to get, uh, but the other two shouldn't be. Yeah. And I think they're fine. I think, I can't remember which one it is. I don't know if it's Frankfurt or the Boston Batch. It's almost, to me, a little thin. Um, so I was disappointed in it. I thought it could really show off the what Jim Beam could be, similar to what Maker's Mark did with showing off with Seller's Age. Yeah. Um, and it just missed that mark totally for me. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, number seven on the list is E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Rye. Right. Uh, you know why it's not worth hunting for? Because it's like Snuffleupagus. <laughs> you don't. You think it exists, but you've never seen it. We've seen pictures of it. We've seen pictures of it. We're pretty sure it's been bottled and boxed at the distillery. I don't know what they're waiting for. I mean that. I mean it was supposed to be released over a year ago. Yeah, I, I don't know what. The, or they've released it in like some place that gets no internet, <laughs> no TV coverage, no. It's in the foothills yeah, like, of whatever. It, it's, of some mountain somewhere. Yeah, it's some like uh, Tibet or something. Bigfoot is the only one drinking <laughs> on. EH drinking Taylor the good stuff. Part. Yeah. Uh, so it, the truth is, is you know what? Here's what I'm gonna say. Go in and ask all your stores, do you have EH Taylor Barrel Proof Rye? If you don't. do, I'd love to have it. Don't. Don't be like that. Uh, it's just, it's not worth hunting for because it, it exists somewhere. We don't, we don't know if it exists. We don't know where. I mean, we, in theory, we know it exists. Yeah. But I, I just don't understand why Buffalo Trace hasn't released it. Like, I, unless it's still, like, you know... At the distributor, whenever all of that stuff was going on, but Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. All right, and then the last one uh, will be the Heaven Hill Heritage Series, twenty year corn. Look, it was a fun experiment doing aging a corn whiskey for twenty years. Um, is it terrible? No. no, but it ain't really all that good. No, so you know. It it's definitely it definitely drops and plummets from however high that mountain was with the seventeen year heritage series all the way down to the bottom. If you happen to be at Heaven Hill and they happen to put them out, pick it up. Sure. But it's not worth really hunting for. No. I so I would just And that's gonna be a that sneaky big bottle that I think will go to drops and releases during allocation season. Yeah. People are going to be really excited about it, either for a price tag reason, yeah. reselling reason, or just like the, the status of that bottle. No. And it's just not worth it. Go to a bar, taste it. Find I don't it even think, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think a lot of bars will have it. Yeah, probably not. But if you can find it at a bar, yeah. taste it, and then you'll know why you shouldn't hunt for it. So, 
But anyways, so that's our list. So let us know what uh, we missed or if you all agree with us or disagree with us. I imagine we're going to get some disagreements on it, the birthday bourbon fun. and the Rio. It's so good. <laughs> it's always me. It's always me. <clears throat> Zach flies under the radar with all his good choices and I like I start I, bashing stuff I mean, for I whatever I reason. I don't know if I have good choices, just maybe yeah. you know, wise choices. Anyway, till the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.